Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the 10 intriguing aspects of ChatGPT that people might not be widely aware of. And you know, the difficulty is that people know uh, or hear about a technology, but they don't know all the details of the technology. And I understand this because there is so much in a technology that it's hardly impossible or almost impossible to go through all the details, figure out all the details and leverage all those functionalities. Unless you are a very technical person whose day job or routine work is focused on leveraging such a technology. So in this regard, I would say the main action steps are that first get an awareness, get an understanding of those uh, key functionalities, those distinguishing aspects. And then the next step would be try to implement or explore some of those functionalities at your own. So you get a feeling, you get a better understanding of those technologies. So here are those um, 10 integrating aspects of ChatGPT. First and foremost is training data scope. ChatGPT has been trained on a diverse data set up until its last update in September 2021, which includes books, articles, websites, and other text sources. But it doesn't have the capability to access or retrieve personal data unless it has been shared during the conversation. So it has only access to the data which was there on the internet until September 2021, right? and it can only leverage some of your personal data while writing a prompt if you provide your name or some personal if you share some personal details then it will leverage those details to say to you hello and your name or in any other context depending on which context or which what is the prompt that you are sharing your personal details the second one is no internet br browsing. Unlike humans, ChatGPT cannot browse the internet in real time. It generates responses based on the knowledge it was trained on, meaning it does not have the ability to pull in the current events or real time updates. I think it's pretty much clear and the people who are technical, who are in the AI field, they uh, understand it um, without any doubt, but the, for the people, uh, who are, let's say, new or laymen who are not that into this technology, they might be thinking, oh, I can, that means I can do anything and everything with ChatGPT. It's kind of not true in the sense that it does not, since it does not have the real time browsing of internet, it cannot uh, pull or fetch in the real time updates or the, the latest events and things like that. The next one, number three, fine-tuning capabilities. It can be ChatGPT or in fact any other large language model like Llama, Bard, Gemini, you name it, right? Grey Knight from IBM, Mistro, any of those large language models, they can be fine-tuned. And if some of those large language models, it cannot be, uh, the organizations or the companies behind them are working to make them um, able to have this fine tuning capability. And now you must be asking what is a fine tuning? Um, so basically they can be fine tuned for specific tasks or industries. Organizations can train the model on specified data to enhance its performance on particular tasks, making it highly adaptable to various professional needs. So let's say uh, if you are working in a hairdressing industry and you need to um, have a large language model which can help you in that specific industry or for that matter any other industry right but the problem with most of the large language model would be that they are not trained for your industry so what you could do is take one existing model and then you apply um, your domain specific some of your data right some of your tasks you provide to it uh, so that what happens it it becomes the uh, it gets the fine tuning on your data right on your specific task 
and then it adapts for your industry needs so this is really cool feature right so you don't have to let's say spend a huge effort investment money resources on building a model or customizing a model as we were used to do that, that for a few years ago now you can just you know like um, take a model which is let's say more close to your industry and then you um, adopt it with fine-tuning to some specific task of your use the next one up is ethical use guidelines OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, has established guidelines for ethical use. In fact, this is very hot topic um, across the industry. All companies, governments, they are talking about ethical use of AI, trustworthy AI, uh, responsible AI. All those uh, terms and, and concepts have been around, but now uh, they are t taken uh, more seriously, and they should be, because now AI is at that inflection point where we see that it can be used by anyone and everyone. So ensuring that user employ ChatGPT or for that matter large language models responsibly. responsibly. This includes pro prohibitions on generating harmful content and ensuring the AI's output aligns with broader societal values. Right. So whether it's a legal framework or your societal values or anything like that, it should be respecting those values, those, those uh, operating conditions. Five, multilingual sport. While primarily used in English, ChatGPT sports multiple languages, making it versatile in global applications. However, its proficiency varies depending on the language and the amount of training data available. I think this is really a um, cool feature. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm gonna uh, do that right away after this video. And I, I suggest you do the same. Try it with a language of your choice. Um, uh, most likely it does support your language, but if, if it doesn't, just pick another one that it does support and try, uh, have a feeling, uh, play with it, ask some question and then cross check with, with uh, if you are the expert on that language yourself or with Google Translate or anything like that or a human counterpart perhaps. Then the next one up is zero shot learning. ChatGPT can perform tasks it wasn't explicitly trained to do, a feature known as zero shot learning. This means it can generate responses to prompts it hasn't specifically encountered during training. So zero shot learning is a concept in AI and in deep learning in training the models is about that without providing a single example to the model, you train the model, right? So zero shot without any example provided, you train the model and you ask the model to perform some action. Uh, so it basically generate responses to prompts that it hasn't um, seen during its training time when it was uh, when the model was built when the model was trained coding assistant number seven beyond text generation ChatGPT can assist with coding tasks providing code snippets debugging and explaining programming concepts which can be a great value for developers so for example if you are a developer you have written some code and you want to see uh, if there are like any optimization opportunities or if you want to uh, you know uh, cost check your code this could be a possibility i'm not suggesting but this is uh, you know like there is a possibility while in the past you would need to search across different uh, developer forums on the internet to see okay whether you're uh, coding it right or what are the optimization opportunities you would go ask some experts so now it is really at your fingertips then number eight is role-playing capability ChatGPT can adopt various personas or roles during a conversation offering a dynamic interaction experience this feature can be particularly useful in training gaming and storytelling applications so this is very interesting so let's say if you want to uh, have a storytelling application, gaming, a movie, or anything like that. You want to create some uh, roles, just specify them, 
in the in your prompt and then see how chat gpt works on that this is once again really interesting feature then next one um, is emotion recognition while not perfect chat gpt has the ability to recognize and respond to the emotional tone of user inputs which can enhance its interaction quality and make its responses seem more empathetic and context aware last but not least number 10 continuous learning and updating even though chat gpt itself doesn't learn from individual interactions post training OpenAI continuously works on improving its models. User feedback and interactions can inform future updates and versions, enhancing the AI's performance and capabilities over time. These facets or intriguing, intriguing aspects of ChatGPT showcase its versatility and the breadth of potential applications, highlighting why it's considered a groundbreaking tool in AI and natural language processing. So once again, I would like to emphasize before closing this, that have a look at those features, try some of these, and then you will be able to see um, how much is this powerful tool in your hand and how much you can use it to your advantage. Happy learning. Thank you.